Janie, and this is the medium intensity glute workout. You're going to be working your gluteus minimus, medius, and the famous gluteus maximus. The powerhouse of your body is the gluteus maximus. It does a lot of work. It's the largest muscle in your body, and it's powerful and strong. If you have been sitting all day, your gluteus zzz, are a lot weaker because they're just sitting there, they're inactive. So we need to activate them and make them stronger and make them all that they can be. So in order to do that, we're gonna be doing a lot of strength and exercises for that particular area of your body so that you can be able to do all the things that you need to do throughout your day and throughout your lifespan. So you need a few pieces of equipment. I have some weights because I have a personal training business and I have all the weights I need. But you, if you happen to have a weight of some sort, please get that. I also have um, some other alternatives and you do too, some bottles of water. You can weigh this bottle and see if that's the weight you need, it's about two pounds. This one is six pounds and the good old gallon is about eight pounds. So you can use that instead of a weight if you don't have a weight. The other thing that you will need is a um, band. They're, they sell these everywhere um, in all different um, tensions and resistance. We have um, a light, medium, and high intensity band, or you can use the ultra toner that I like to use for side steps and lunges and all. So you can use either of these and I will show you those. The other thing that you'll need is a bench or a sofa and preferably uh, a sofa is something that you have in your own home. Unless of course you have a weight bench, then you can use that. I put a towel on it to make it softer. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you the proper technique that you need to make this the most effective workout for your glutes that you have. This is the hip thrust that you're going to do on your sofa. You're going to put your shoulder blades on the edge of the sofa. You're going to get your weight. And if it's bumpy and awkward, you're going to put a towel here, right here on your, on your hips, your, and keep it nice and soft. You're going to lift your hips, and you're not going to arch your back and separate your ribs from your hips. You're going to keep your ribs and your hips together. You can hold on to the weight so it doesn't roll off. It's going to be it's above your hip bones there right here or actually on your crease of your hips as you bend down and you're going to lift up. Don't arch your back. Keep it down and down and squeeze at the top as though you're holding a piece of paper between the cheeks of either side of your glute muscles. Squeeze it at the top. That's it for the hip thrust. The goblet squat. You're going to hold a weight that is comfortable for you. Five, eight, ten, and you're going to put your feet out wider than your hips, toes facing forward, and you're going to keep your weight back in your heels. Keep the weight in the center of your body, elbows in as you lower down, nice and low. Keep that back flat and straighten and squeeze the glutes. Sit back, and your heels, chest up and up. Squeeze as you come up, make that gluteal muscle move together. For the goblet squat, if you don't have a weight, use a water bottle, place it in front of your chest, Elbows in, and as you squat back, sit back in your heels, toes turned out slightly, and your knees tracking over your toes, chest up, and squeeze at the top. Make your glutes come together as though you're holding a piece of paper between your glutes. A side lunge with a side leg lift. You're gonna step out to the side, Toes facing forward. If you have some weights or the water bottle, hold it in front of your chest, and then you're going to lift up 
and then come down. Lift up and down. Straighten up, down, working the glute medius on both of these sides. Lift it up and down, up and down. The Romanian deadlift. You're going to keep your feet a little bit wider than your hips. The toes are facing forward. Your knees are going to track over your toes. Your glute muscles are going to stick out as you flex at the hips. Your back is flat. Keep those ribs and hip bones connected so that you're not arching like this. Keep it flat. And the weight or the water bottle is going to come down to your, just below the knees and then come up. And as you do, you squeeze your glutes nice and tight. Back over and squeeze at the top. Back over and squeeze at the top. Side steps with the ultra toner. Put those on your feet up close to the tongue of your shoe. You're going to step sideways, knees bent, chest up, step out to the side, nice and wide. Bring it in, but don't let the band be loose. Step out, bring it in and out, in, out. Again, feel that glute medius working. Put your hands in your pocket. That's where the muscle is. Out to the side, chest up, abs in. And then with the other band, you're going to put it on your ankles and make sure that you're holding on to something or seated. When you do this, step out to the side, toes front, side, side. We're going to go five one way and five the other way. Side steps. The curtsy squat. You're going to step out to the side, place the foot back behind you, and you're going to squeeze your glutes. Squeeze them as you bend down and step to the side. Squeeze. You can hold the weights here or here. Squeeze and up. Step, squeeze and up. Step, squeeze, up, step, squeeze. All right, let's begin the workout with the hip thrust. Get your favorite weight or water bottle. Sit on the floor and then get yourself up and then the bottom of your scapula on the bench or your sofa. Look straight ahead, wait here and come down and straighten. One and two, we're doing 15. Three, nice and tight. Four, five, hold on to that weight, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, rest it up, eleven, nice and tight, squeeze, thirteen, 14, 15, and hold it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now little pulses. Pulse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 more, 5, 4, Three, two, one, hold it. Great job. Let's do the goblet squat. Get in the goblet. Whatever you happen to be drinking in my goblet. Wide stance, elbows in. Keep the weight back. Here we go. And it's one. Squeeze it at the top. One. And two. And seven, and 
eight,
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and for some fun, here we go. Ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, a little extra for your money. Way to go, side steps. Next is a curtsy lunge. There's some prop around here. All right, knee tracks over the toe, so be careful of that. Cross back here, squeeze those gluteuses. Here we go, nice and pretty. Squeeze, ready, begin. Step one, and two, three, over here. Four, squeeze. From here. Five. Whichever way it feels most comfortable for you. Feeling it tight. This is ten. Eleven. whether with the band or without. Well, I hope you um, enjoyed this medium intensity glute workout. I sure did and I had fun doing it with you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and set notifications so that you can know when the next video is being done. And like it, put a like there and leave me a comment. I would love to know what you thought about this, if it helped you and I also, would like to hear your recommendations for other videos. So thank you so much for doing it with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you had fun and you're gonna get stronger if you keep doing this workout two to three times a week. Oh boy. So see you later. Have a great day. Bye.